All right, who's first? What can you tell us about Dwayne Brown? Uh, it's exciting. A um, lot of experience here. Um, you could tell he's got a style to his play. He's a really good fit for us that way. Uh, tough, rugged guy. Um, he has the, the fortune really early in his career of playing in almost the identical system for about five, six years. And so the transition is going quite well. Uh, terminology, landmarks, aiming points, uh, communication, things like that, a lot of similarity. Uh, so it's a matter of recalling for him. But uh, good experience, and obviously it's nice to have a guy, a young guy like Ethan playing next to him where he gets a chance to learn from someone like that. He was saying he got through the walkthrough pretty much without any incident. Just how impressed was that to have a guy come in and just fit like that? that it position? was good. You could tell, um, you know, when we started out, uh, once he was cleared this morning, we started with the meetings that um, very diligent note taker, uh, very tuned in, asks good questions. Um, so he's a pro, you know, and I think that's a, that's a really good deal for us in terms of getting someone who knows how to play that position, has played at a high level, uh, but certainly understands it right from the minute you sit down in the seat, you got to start preparing, and it showed up. How long have you seen this as a realistic chance that you might give him? Uh, well, what time is it? It's just, it's, you know, really. I mean, you, you wish uh, if it was available to us, it could happen, and they worked their tails off to do it, and uh, it worked out. When I first heard about it, it you get excited initially, and then um, you just got to wait because you never know how these things are going to go. You're obviously you watching the other side of the ball, but how much did you see of him on Sunday? Um, a little bit. You know, I came in in uh, Monday and watched him once it became that, hey, there's a thought here and really kind of studied that. For his first time, I've been a long, playing in a long time. What'd you think? Well, I, I mean, that's the whole issue. Here's a guy who came off the street, practiced for a week, played a game uh, in a tough environment against good players. Uh, it really was solid, you know, all the way through. And, and so for him, it's getting back into football shape. He's been training his rear end off. Uh, he's in great Cardio shape, his strength is good, but there's no substitute for the contact, uh, contact adaptation in football. And so he's got to do that. And we'll continue to work with him, be smart about it this week, and get him ready for this Sunday. What kind of impact can he have midstream coming into your offensive line? Uh, you know, we'll find out. Hopefully what he'll do, his familiarity in the system of running the football and protecting in the things that we do, the play action game. He's so familiar with it. Uh, that it's not like you're teaching someone brand new. Uh, he's done it at a very high level. And based on what I've seen on tape from Sunday, watching him play our guys and then at practice today, um, he's going to add a really cool dimension. Part of your job is to coach at young people. Is mm -hmm. it a bit of a relief to be able to deal with a guy who's had 10 years in the league? Uh, it, it's fun. It's fun because I get to watch the young guys absorb from him and, and all the things that you've been talking about and teaching and, and all of a sudden they look at it and say, that's exactly what we're all working towards. You know, and so it's a really fun piece in that regard. And from my standpoint, yeah, it's a lot of fun. What did you see as the, the issues in the run game from Sunday? We, we missed, um, you know, we, we targeted it right and all that, but we just missed blocks, um, too many negative plays. And so, you know, one of the, the good things about this game, it's a little bit like some businesses. There's always something to work on, something to fix. Uh, once one aspect's getting better in terms of protection, and now we seem to be kind of going backwards in the run game for really two weeks here, and we just need to clean it up. We need to fit our helmets properly, hit our aiming points, uh, be clean with our hands and our feet, and when that happens, we'll be fine. And I think the move towards trying to establish a back, you know, rather than multiple backs, I think that'll also help a little bit in terms of seeing it. But we need to be cleaner, and it wasn't clean enough on Sunday. If there's a limit on how much Dwayne can absorb in three days, are there things you guys could do schematically, play calling wise, to try to help him out? Sure. Yeah, I think that, you know, as you go through the week and if we find that out, certainly we can uh, eliminate some things or say, hey, let's not go as much with that. Um, and we have plenty of offense, so that wouldn't be hard to do. But we want to be smart that way, for sure. If you go to establishing a back and if it's if, if it's Eddie, I mean, Pete suggested maybe it's Eddie. I, what is it about him that would make you feel like he could be the guy right now to do that? Um, I think whoever it is, they all have their own styles. We've talked about before, but Eddie's going to run heavy, meaning I don't mean that as a weight thing. He runs as a big man. You know, he makes contact, he falls forward, he moves the pile, he moves people. Uh, he would, you know, my want is to see him as the finisher in the second half, uh, you know, going forward where he can establish, you know, that, that size and that strength that he has the power. So what does he bring? He brings power. He brings a guy who's done it. He's had a ton of carries in this league. And um, I just think sometimes those backs, they got to see it enough to really get 
kind of wired in. Is that the objective now to hone in on whatever, whichever guy it ends up being, but one guy to maybe? Yeah, I think we've always tried to do that. And, and so, you know, maybe we've gotten lost in our, ourselves a little bit too. But yes, we want to get cleaner blocking it first and foremost, and get a runner established. With the line, I mean, you sort of throw Dwayne in maybe and leave the rest of it the same for now? Yes. Mm -hmm. I noticed, like, in the coaching uh, discussion after the game about the need to make a move, uh, what, what was your input to the, on the Brown? Uh, I, I think the biggest thing is just evaluating it. You know, does it fit? Is it a right piece? Is there enough there that he's going to come in and make a transition that's worth doing it? You know, if it's some system in his background where he's never been in it, um, it would take a little more time, but as we witness today, he's done enough of this. I mean, really, nine years he's played. This is ten. Six of those ten, I believe, was in a very similar, almost identical situation, um, run game, pass game. How did you, Ethan, get in a full game? How just what did you think of him? Nice job. Nice job. He really did well uh, communicating uh, well in pass protection. He's a guy we have to fix in the run game. Um, uh, I think both guards, you know, if you're going to put your finger on one thing, uh, we need to get more legs out of them, meaning more of that power and feet running and finishing. How did you evaluate Reese's seven games? Um, up and down. There were some times when um, he really made some strides, and I feel good about where he started and where he ended. Um, and yet it's there's still that uh, confidence piece, if you will. If you're going to go play that position, you've got to be a little bit like a corner. You might get me, but you ain't getting me again. And um, I think you have to be able to throw your fastball whenever you want to play in left tackle. And, and that's a piece that doesn't always come to young guys for a minute. And he's getting closer. Um, and let's give him credit. He did a lot of nice things being thrown in there like that and playing for seven weeks. Obviously, everybody's going to want to be on the field. But can it be good for a guy like Reese to take a step back and learn from somebody? Yeah, I, I think that's the, the key to it. And when I talked to him about it is the fact that he has an opportunity to learn, take a breath here, learn. And he's going to be a big part of this going forward. Um, and so we'll get him going and, and move forward with it. I know there was a couple times where Dwayne was able to hook Sheldon on run going the opposite way, too. How, how rare is it for a tackle to be able to do that, to out-leverage a guy who's lined up inside of him and, and handle him? And that's no it's a hard block, you know, and I think, I think that uh, this guy has been at a hard, uh, high level for a long time. I think what you're talking about is an example. That's not an easy block for anybody in this league, and uh, the opportunity and ability to do that showed up. It kind of, you know, got me excited watching the tape. So you kind of hit there what fired me up. Pass so. protection on Sunday, was that as well as you've seen that this season? Well, I think last week we were probably um, as clean, if not a little cleaner, because there was more problems to deal with. And then this Sunday, um, you know, same thing. There was problems to deal with, but we handled them a little bit more. We're growing up. And like anything, you know, I keep saying this, and I, it's the truth, though. Everything, there's always something to work on and fix in this game. If there was one guy out doing one thing and it was one-on-one, -on -one, then you, all your bets on that guy. But you got 11 people you got to do right, and that group's got to be five people kind of connected doing right. The quarterback connected, which he was. The back connected, which you were. And then we're starting to get a product that we're looking for. What did you like, sort of, I guess, committing to Ethan as the left guard for right now? What, uh, what did you, like about that? I, you know, really just he's earned it. He's shown it in practice. You know, we always say everything counts and practice is everything. And, you know, you start turning on your practice tape, and it's like day after day after day. There's a level of consistency and growth that's showing up, and um, so he's earned that right. You talked before about the value of continuity in an offensive line play, and you're obviously not going to have it <laughs> this year. Uh, how are you? Well, we're not done yet. <laughs> well, so far. Yeah. Uh, how do you cope with uh, trying to make up for the absence of continuity? Um, really, you you know, keep it simple, if you will. Uh, but we have to do enough that we can be aggressive and attack. Um, with our playmakers and the quarterback and Jimmy, all these guys, we can't be too vanilla. And so you just got to prepare your rear ends off and really give them the right plan each week to be able to go out and do it. And when we do get that continuity, though, it should be kind of cool. As accomplished as Brown is, how can one left tackle help the entire offense, this offense? Uh, how does any player help it? He does his job at a high level. Anything else, guys? What was your initial meeting like with them? Uh, it was great this morning. We talked about uh, background, family, his career, what he knows, uh, what he values, those kind of things, and then we went to work. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.